What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Move Better channel. I'm your host, Dr. Joe, and this is the professor, John Pettiserata. Today, we're gonna talk about hip pain while sleeping. Why the hell would you have hip pain while you're sleeping? <laughs> There's so many different reasons why that could actually happen. There's so many questions that we have that might be causing you hip pain while sleeping, but I kind of have an idea of what might be the cause. And remember, this is just a guess for the general population that we see. Mm -hmm. And we, we have an assessment process that we wanna check before we tell you guys this is the way to fix you. So try these exercises out and it might be able to give you guys some relief yeah. before you go to bed, not after you go to bed. Make sure you try these exercises before you go to bed so you can get a better night's rest. Let's go. Let's go. My guess for those that might be dealing with some type of hip pain while they sleep will be that you're gonna be laying down in a lying down or a side lying position where your leg just kind of drapes over. Now again, it, it's, it's different for every single person. What it really comes down to is how much movement do you do during the day? If you're not doing a lot of movement during the day, you're gonna be suffering from all that inflammatory processes that happen at nighttime or throughout the, throughout the night while you sleep. Your body wants to try to heal itself the best way possible while you sleep. So you're gonna start feeling some inflammation start to settle in some, into your joints. So what I would recommend is trying these exercises to do right before you go to bed and see if you just get a little bit of relief. If you do, that means your body is craving attention. Your body is craving movement. And that's why we wanna to try to retrain it more and more and more. So my guess is that if you're laying down in this lying down position, your knee is gonna drop down as it puts more stress along your hip. Now, if you're sitting down for more than eight hours a day and you're not exercising, you're not moving enough, try these exercises out. Try doing these movements to help counterbalance the things that you do on a daily basis because your body is just trying to adapt to the environment that you're giving it. So first thing that you need to do is if you're laying down in your bed, try to just bring your knee up. Hold it here and the first thing you're gonna do is just try to stretch it out. So you're opening up your hip without rotating your hip back. So what I'm gonna do for John is I'm gonna place my hand right behind his back here and all he's gonna do is just lift his knee up into the air. As he's doing that, he's trying to feel a stretch on his inner thigh and he's trying to feel his butt muscle on the back here trying to activate, trying to contract, trying to pull together and relieve tension off of that hip, okay? Now, after he holds that for about 30 seconds to a minute here, we're gonna make that harder. So, he's gonna keep his knees lined up here. He's gonna drive his foot forward just like this and he's gonna flex his toe up. Now, as he flexes his toe up, he's gonna imagine I have, I'm pressing on his heel and he's driving that leg down straight through towards his heel as he lifts it up into the air without rotating from his back here, without rotating from his lower back or his upper back, he's trying to lift his leg up as high as you can. You guys remember Jane Fonda and all of her little exercises? <laughs> That's exactly what we're trying to aim for here is we're just trying to lift that leg up and trying to get his hip to do what it needs to do, which is fire, activate and relieve pressure and decompress all that inflammatory um, uh, pressure that's in that hip. So he's gonna hold that there for another minute. Remember, we're trying to burn you guys out here. We're trying to get you guys a better night's rest. So I want this hip to burn. So if it's not burning, we're gonna try to add some resistance to it right away. So if those exercises aren't burning for you, we're gonna do the clamshell with a nice little strong band here. So if you guys don't have a band, have somebody that's at home that might be able to help you out be able to push that down a little bit while you're trying to resist their hands. If not, you can use your bed sheets. Tighten up your bed sheets, get underneath the bed sheets, and get in this position and push your bed sheets off of you while you push that knee. That's for another video later on. But try those out. If it, if it works for you, great. That's enough resistance for your, for your hips so you can be able to have a nice restful sleep. You could put a weight, you could put anything that is gonna allow you to put any type of resistance right on that leg against gravity. So here we're just putting a band. If you don't have a band, go and grab one. If you don't have a band, or if, you don't, if you can't grab one, use your sheets, try whatever you can to try to get any type of resistance in that position. Now, he's gonna try to drive his knee up into the air. 
He's gonna keep his hips stable back here. Push that knee up a little bit higher, push that knee up higher. Good. As he's holding it here, he's gonna keep it there for about a minute. Notice, I'm not having him just do his clamshells where he's just driving his knees down and up, uh, down and up. I want an isometric contraction. We're not, we're probably not getting enough recruitment of the muscles as it is. And so an isometric contraction can just kind of teach that, that form, try to teach that way of activation for those muscles that are in that area. So after he holds that for about a minute or so, he's gonna drive his knee down, he's gonna straighten his leg, and again, we're gonna do that Jane Fonda exercise. He's gonna push through his heel as he lifts his leg up. He's trying to activate those muscles of his hip as he's holding it, and then again, he's trying to burn out. Notice he's starting to shake here a little bit. I can, <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> uh, uh, I can feel his, his shaking going on over here, and he's just trying to hold this for about a minute or so. Again, trying to burn out and create so much tension. All right, you guys, so try those exercises out. There's just two to try to burn it out and see if that actually helps relieve some of that pressure while you sleep at night. Now again, there could be a variety of different things that could be the cause of that hip pain, and there, this might not help. So make sure you comment down below and let us know how you feel. It's all about the person that's in front of us that, that we have to assess to try to retrain that hip pain. Now there's also a, done, a ton of different exercises that you could do. So if you are well versed in exercising and you are trained and you these exercises are just way too easy, we have to put more load onto it. So make sure you comment down below and let us know how we can help fix you. Thanks again, you guys. Like, share, subscribe, send it out to all your friends and family and let us know how we can help you. See you guys in the next episode.